Hello and welcome to Heart of Wine 4. We are playing as Italy. It is the Hydra 1.7 edition. This is a revised campaign. So if you join in me after the last episode, you find out that absolutely nothing happened. Not for us. Uh, we built up, we prepped up, we trained, we did a lot of training. There was a lot of rocky montages going on. However, the German Reich decided to take over Poland and invade Luxembourg. They've gone after the Netherlands and Belgium. There's a fight going on apparently a long long way away from our shores and borders. So we have nothing to do at the moment. It's 17th of November 1939. We are prepped up though for Ethiopia and Somaliland and that is our plans and ambitions there. In North Africa in Libya we have a projection of forces that are gonna go that way um, yep we have garrison forces just waiting and we also have the Germans over here because they've seen our battle plans because we are in the axis now so they know that we're gonna go that way um, that's good and they've also joined us there on the front line uh, we have a fortification line there so it's just a matter of time basically now this episode what are we going to do with Yugoslavia are we going to go hostile against Yugoslavia um, um, let's see how it runs um, I'm, I'm expecting a call to arms to be honest from Germany because they are going to be encroaching into well the north part of France at some point they are making victories there against the troops that are positioned there but it's a piecemeal effort so the Maginot line only goes so far they've got through Luxembourg so they should be at a there we go they're making their attack so we shall see um, in Central America that we had an issue going on with Honduras uh, that was completely taken over by the Soviet Republic. So they have they're in the common turn and they've taken over that. So I think it would be quite amusing to get United States and Mexico actually at war with each other, but mm, maybe not. It's kind of one of those things. It's anything can happen, but maybe not that. I don't know. If we can incite it, we will. Uh, however, we are fascist in nature as Italy in this particular series, so it may not happen. So what are we doing naval-wise? We had some more ships. Oh, that was just handy. Well, we had some more ships actually built, uh, so we will have these train up in that little fleet at the moment. And just add them to their respective places when it comes to it so that should release uh, quite a bit of steel I would have thought as well as dockyards to our forces uh, we do need to get a cruiser on the way um, so let's decide one of these ships needs to be produced so let's get it out there that'll do they're not particularly brilliant ships here we go here's the call to arms so we have kind of had a phony war going on but if we go to war now okay what so if we go to war now we're not actually facing that many opposition forces there we've got the germans actually helping us out on that line there but it would affect our training there so if we can get these moved to there get them moved into that area so they train there that would be better in fact they could actually train from there I suppose um, our new ships where are they actually being produced out to a so okay that's fine that should be that area anyway um, we've got an expiration of 15th of July so I tell you what we will keep the Germans guessing for a while. Right, where are you? Where do you need to be? Um, maybe on that front. Because we're not quite ready. 
Um, I do want more troops and whatnot. Okay, we've got the artillery in place and the motorized may be in place for our support equipment for our new division, but I can't build it up yet because I haven't got the points. Damn it. Okay, it will come. It will come. So let's keep an eye on the time. What have we got going on elsewhere? We've got all sorts. That's going to come back to us. That's really important. The fall of Nanjing, that's a good sign from Japan because I think in our last series, Japan did really, really badly. I haven't buffed up any countries in the um, country section at all, so it is not a case of we are actually giving them any advantages. I'm just watching the time here because it's coming up to the 15th, so we will stop the clock just short of it. And then we will tell the Germans, yes, we're going to help you. Which kind of fulfills the phony war status. Um, we need both of these. I think I've said this before, we need both of these. I do want that, but I do want that. I'm going to do that first, or am I? Hold on, we're 1940 now, so yeah. Let's get that going because that's going to give our infantry some attack bonuses in the field. Right, these guys. Let's give them to him. Um, I do not like this kind of section at all. We are very vulnerable there, especially if we go to war with the allies and we haven't secured Yugoslavia one way or another. Now that we've got a lot of that rid of, let's think about this. Let's do it aggressive. And you're thinking, you've already said that's a worry, so... But we've got Germany on our side in a few days time in two days time, three days time actually. Okay, let's do it. We have been called in, so we're gonna have to alter things now. I'm gonna stop training there. I'm going to, yeah, I'll put them on his front. So he's got all the troops that he needs there. Yes, we are at war now, so that means our training there is gonna have to take place in that area. Whoops. Yeah, they all need building up. Um, let's just make sure that they are going to do what they're supposed to do. Going to need this guy on there. And he's the only one that's actually going to have this as an order. This Admiral here, this guy, he's got mine laying. We've given him an advantage there. And we've given these a advantage in the uh, research, so that should have some effect. We now need to prep up. That's the only ship function that I'm actually going to do. Oh, hold on. Is that the guy? Uh, I may be telling you a lie there. No, I'm not telling you a lie. He's actually got that. However, these ships here are not where I want them to be. Right, just bear with me a second. Gonna have to, whoops, gonna have to alter these around slightly. So he gets those guys. Right, this guy is now working out here. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. Uh, that way I don't lose anybody. Um, so these guys are going to be convoy raiding. Just there. That's all I need at the moment. Um, I could actually just leave them just to do nothing. But I want to see what ships are actually out there. Yeah, that was a very crazy way of actually doing that. And not the way to do it. So 
Let's put these back on this guy because they for some reason had been enjoined elsewhere. So we've got close air support and fighters there. So let's ask for those to be done. They should be our bombers. So let's close air support, infantry, uh, not infantry, infra infrastructure even. That should be enough. We're only working in Africa, so that's enough for them. Um, I, there's, there's actually ports there, so I'll get naval strike and port strike. So we'll see if we can actually catch anybody in those areas. Right, these guys. Uh, he's not quite up to standard him, but it is enough. Okay, so we'll get our bombers, because they've got those islands to actually deal with as well. We'll get them working on the factories that are there, any airports that are there, any dockyards, any naval facilities. And that will also affect Egypt as well. There shouldn't be a naval port on there, but I will actually do that just in case. Right. Stop this guy from training uh, because he's going to have that lovely job to do. Stop these guys. They're going to have that job to do. That is for the sake of Malta. If you hadn't realized. And this is also going to affect Malta. Um, we could actually get them to do that. So we've got all the bombers actually affected. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to have any ports on there. But maybe if they put a radar on there, we'll tackle it if it comes... I think that's good enough for Malta. Uh, we'll have bomber interception in that area and air supremacy, I reckon. Command power, yes, if you don't mind. Now, these guys, these are close air support, so we need those on that. These guys on those, and we'll have those doing that. And yeah, that's correct. That's fine. Um, they could actually do airfields as well, I suppose. Right, he is going to be tackling this area, and there are there are ports there to start off with. That is going to mean a difference to that. Bomber interception there. He's going to be working out there, so we'll get him multitasking on that, and he can do that, 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 that just in case they put a radar out there. Okay. Bomber interception. And this is the full spread. Uh, yeah, bomber interception. Forts up in there and airfields. I think that should do it for there. take him off that we'll have him on that and he may be working against uh, Yugoslavia here so let's get him working on those as well okay that is a big ask that is also gonna affect our trade so we're gonna have to watch this we're gonna lose trade with probably Turkey and nationally Spain okay we do need to order two troops to move instantly he's gonna hold um, the French divisions against France I don't know yet and this should actually give us some army experience so we can actually do something about our paratroopers and our infantry divisions because paratroopers are absolutely terrible they are non-existent so with all that in mind I think we're ready hold on we've got uh... where are those? ah oh, they're there sorry I didn't tell them an area what a pillock um okay i think we're ready yep we know about that have we got any deficits naval bombers tactical bombers yes that will be a problem to be honest with the naval bombers because i do need them up 
In fact, I would like that on there, and along with our fighters, I would like those. Because we're going to have problems in these areas with trying to keep the Royal Air Force down and any Royal Navy aircraft down. Um, so I think we're ready. Let's go back. Let's kick it off. The Germans are attacking on this line. This is not us. Okay, what is this? Hold on. We've got volunteers from Spain. Thank you very much, Spain. That is a nice call. Uh, okay, that's an early victory. Convoys only, though. Okay. So we do know that the forces now are in place, so we can move in, basically. I'm not going to move across there. So this is British territory, but they've actually got French forces there. There's. Okay, that's interesting. That is a fleet of ships out there trying to protect their convoys. Fair enough. Well, we're going to reduce that and reduce that. So they would then have to get to there. There are faction members justifying war goals. Okay. That's nice to know. I hadn't noticed that before. That's probably something that has actually been said. This is Malta that's been hit and destroyer already. That's good. Submarines down. They're going to get a lot of this. So I tried to keep these to a minimum. Successful strikes across the board. Our minefield there should actually help us um, in the percentage. Let's have a look. Uh, not yet, but there's massive ships there, as you can see, and we've just put five out, so. That will be a difference when it comes to it. Um, okay, there's, as you can see, there's loads of victories there. All good. But it is early days. Um, we've got another ship that's just come out, so let's get it training there. And this is a submarine that we can actually put out here. Uh, we're losing submarines out there already, which is not good. Uh, so I'll add it to our Mediterranean fleet at the moment. Um, yeah, okay. They're transferring, that's fine. Right, we can do something with our army experience now. Um, so let's get that logistics core. Sweden's just been called into the Allies, so that's a difference. Um, we don't normally see that happen. Um, so what happens with all the licenses for the Borfalls for the Germans then? Are the, are the Germans just going to keep on producing them? I reckon they will. It's not a problem for us. Uh, right, our forces are engaging other forces out there. I do want these to move like the absolute clappers over this area. It's going to be tough to actually do this as well, so we're going to need these areas built up. Uh, so let's just tell our forces to get those going, if they don't mind, sharpish. Have we got anything going on here, apart from what we've done? Um, we could actually attack into that, I reckon, if we put some pressure on that division just force them out and then maybe push straight in yep that's good for me I like that if that happens that will be a good maneuver we can cut them off from that port um, where have all the other British divisions gone though that's there was some out there sure uh, they probably come up here to try and stop me. They have basket cases. Uh, right, we won't have this going on because this is just silly. Let's take these areas, please. I want to get up to here before France falls. We have got Sardinia being attacked as well. So, um, okay, uh, they are pushing them back slightly here. He doesn't say it's a good idea though, so I won't press him on that. Um, we get more of this actually encumbered, or we get a, a surround there. I think we will manoeuvre our forces as, as we need to. 
just want to check something, just make sure that we're not actually training up anywhere, you know, apart from where we need to be with our navy. That's the only thing that needs to be trained up. Okay, so they've uh, that's our nationalist of help basically arriving in Lati uh, Latium, something like that. Uh, let's go for the port, guys, please. Thank you. God, you guys better be moving straight in like that. We can actually do something now. So I do want various things to happen now. Um, we can do ground support, which we will, but I do want that as well. So um, I think that's probably going to help us out more to start off with. That's a bad sign, but we are getting things actually knocked out here. Not too sure why we're not getting these reports, but somebody's obviously a bit slack in our intelligence department in fact we have no intelligence department what's the score with the ships so far we've got one percent minefields we've still got a hell of a lot of ships out there and as you can see they are everywhere enemy ships everywhere are they here no so actually we actually own that at the moment what about in the red sea a massive ships out there okay we are sinking convoys though. Good. Because, you know, if you're fighting against Britain, it's also a convoy war. Uh, now, is he going to go back there or is he aiming for there? He looks as if he's going to go back there. So, I'm going to move that guy in there. And we could actually move him in there. And we could delay this guy's attack. Uh, not like that. That was completely stupid. Yeah, they're moving in like that. He's doing that. He's doing that. Okay. That's going to give him a bit of a respite there. I don't want that. Do want to take that port? Come on. They will hold there, so that's good. They're moving back. That's a good sign. Good. Looks as if they're going to lose that port, so that's a good sign there. Now, El Alamein. Okay, one division. Okay, let's push. I want to get up to here. Yep, good. Move. Do it. We'll leave Morocco at the moment. I'm surprised our tanks didn't actually get stuck there, but uh, yeah, it's. We can push back, we will. Okay, so our tanks better be rolling. They are good. It's working. It is working. Well, something's working anyway. Okay, so if you see troops there, don't actually do that. Do this. Don't attack at the moment. I uh, will surround. like so and then we'll cut them off from one port and then we'll get to port Said that way where are you guys moving good it's all fun 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 at the store okay so we are 1940 now so hold on yeah we are 1940 oh that's 41 i do apologize i'm seeing things when i shouldn't we really need to be doing that um, but I do really need new aircraft out there, um, particularly these three. And along with the doctrines, can't do anything about that, not yet. Pointless doing that, we're still doing that. And we've got those two on the go. So we're, we're okay, but it's just little things like that that just need to happen. Okay, um, right, we've lost one of our mine lane ships, which is not good. Can we produce another? Um, so which one it is? It's not that one. And it ain't that one either. Um, am I looking at the wrong thing there? 
Um, it's not a... What am I looking there for? Right, I will have... Four of those, two... A bruzo, please. And we will reduce our factories like that. Right, I'm gonna need rubber because it's all gone to pot with our trade. Don't need so much of those, so let's sort that out. How much of that do we need? Not so much. Do need that, and we can't get it from there. Okay. Um, we're not at war with the Soviet Union yet, so we could ask it from them. It's going to be cheeky, I know. And we could ask the German Reich for the other rubber components because they've got synthetic factories. That seems fair to me. Okay, how are we doing? A couple of victories at sea. That is a good sign. What is it though? I bet it's that. Oh, three submarines. That's a good. Yeah. Wow, okay, this is our naval aircraft. It's got to be that's working. It is. That's what we want. Um, okay, let's get rid of those. We've still got victory there. Okay, yeah, again, it was our aircraft at work. How many are there? There's less, but there's still a pain in the arse if we try to do any invasions. Yep. They are still a problem. Now, how are we looking here? We have bottled these guys up, so we need to put some pressure on them, I reckon. Um, no, not like that. I reckon you two can attack like that. If they're going to put a division like that, I'm going to move them in there. Uh, okay, can't actually put them anywhere at the moment. They're going to have to stay on Sicily. Remind me though, please remind me. Okay, so we need to cut these guys off. Hold on, no, let's do that. Let's hold them there. Hold on, which, are, which side of the port are they on? They're on that side, aren't they? So if we move them there, they'll move first. And then we'll... This is how we do it. Like that. They can move, yeah, can they, they can go for a direct contact on that. No, let's go in like this. Do you really need to do that? Probably not. Do that. And we could get this guy now working for our garrison area. Anti-resistance only. If you don't mind, I think that's probably too much to actually do that. Right, what the hell's going on here? Well, it's not what the hell, it's a case of it's going exactly as planned. Actually, yeah, if he, sorry, if he carried on and did that, and then we could get him to move over like that, you to do that surround him don't do that do that because that will frighten the bejesus out of them he's moving there so we'll have him move straight through to Cairo he's putting pressure on there they're just attacking that's fine okay I think we can live with that And they are moving, and we are about to get Alexandria. Yes, good man. Right, you, straight over. Um, you're going to have to hold there until you are resupplied. Oh, resupplied? Reinforce, even. I want you to do that. You then grab all of the Suez. 
Where are you going? Right, yep, straight through. And we'll get you going like that. How are we doing in Somalia? Okay, we have bottled them up a bit more, I suppose. Where are you going? No, do you need to do that? No, you don't. Let's have you push on there. And you can attack. You can give support. Right, back in the Middle Ages, we were doing something. We were doing naval actions. Uh, okay, this guy's going to need a order. And I want him to do... Oh, I don't want him to go over the sea, because that would just be silly. I want him to do that. How are we doing in France? Germans are not actually engaging that much there. It's a bit of a standstill here, that's to be expected. We're not actually losing anything though. So, we could go for another cruiser there, or we could go for a depth charge mortar for everything submarines wise. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, they're light cruisers and heavy cruiser. That's light piercing. Need all of these. Need all of them. As well as that. Ah, damn it. Too many choices. Have we finished the tank yet? No. Damn it. Let's get that going. Did forget about that. still taking their ships out so as soon as this, the this side of the um, Mediterranean gets sealed uh, we will be in a better position full of Cairo that's a good sign that should naturally make the Brits a bit nervous If we attack from there, that's everybody being attacked at the same time. Come on. Uh, okay, we'll do that then. Seal the deal. Kill them off. Five divisions. French divisions there before, so that does make a difference. Uh, okay. I'm not too sure how this business with the Allies and Russia is actually going to play out. Hold on, a bit of a jiggery pokery going on here. We just attack from all sides on that, reduce that pocket if we can, get some more research going. Um, I would really like that. And that. We haven't got enough of that, not yet. I still want to, if I'm doing that, I want to get the bonus for it. Um, sure. Uh, uh, no, hold on. Need that upgrading first. Let's do it the right way. Do it our naval emphasis first, please. Right, submarines. Okay, so yeah, we are losing submarines out here because they have that was five 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 we are going to need to actually invade that so we're going to need ships out there i don't want to ruin our chances of actually doing that by putting those ships out there early uh what the hell no don't do that do this you can attack there. Where are you going? That's fair enough. You can go for Algiers. You two are doing that. So you can do this and then that. You can support. And okay, so we've got seven divisions there. They're all on that, fair enough. So let's move them. 
and that is free fronts up there in it so I need to do something like that seriously you guys do not need to do that you could do that and then that you do that you do this that as well you move in there that's fair enough you guys move forward right these troops still exist here it's listed as French as well so it's not just the British we're actually conquering here come on Panama joined the Allies okay is Dominican Republic joined the Axis okay very strange situation going on in Central America okay so these troops are now going to join him back on this front and then we're going to have to be careful how we actually proceed with his troops um, they do need to make a move over hold on we could actually grab half of them not five we've got a field marshal out here somewhere we have so we'll have them go to there and we will look to do this how are we doing on time we're doing okay on time so I'm gonna need ships out here that's the thing let's give him time he's got 28 days to actually do that Venezuela join the axis well wow. this is we're gonna have a Central American war going on which is unreal but quite exciting in one sense because you don't see that not in history who saw that one coming um, okay I'm being a bit mental at the moment do I push these there's enough forces there but he says no I do need him to push a bit more because these guys are basically ready you to move in like that and I want you guys to move in and displace that guy because I want to be doing other things here we go infantry experts thank you right have we got enough naval experience now for our new cruiser um, let's have a look because as you can see we've got stuff to add on there um, do we go for an attack cruiser with torpedoes I think we probably do um, we could put anti-submarine stuff on there as well anti-air that was rapid guns in there hold on did I save any of that no or a pillock how much would we need we've got fire control on there got anti-air 2 secondary battery if we do that no we can't do it like that can we I was thinking we could actually do something with multiple torpedoes can we do anti-air there we could but we can't put up torpedoes there either damn it okay torpedo attack and whatnot goes up 
we've got enough for armor, so this could be a light cruiser attack. I know what you're thinking. It's terrible. What are you thinking? But that's our attack. Okay. Let's go for that. A bruzo, if you don't mind. And we'll have some of those put on it once that goes. And that's not that far away, to be honest. We've got one that it says we can actually use, but for some reason it's not there available. Um, no, we've got nothing else going on, have we? No. Just have to remember when that comes to it, not to change my attack cruiser out if we go heavy. But if we go heavy, we can only put so many factories on it. But we do need some heavy ships. We're going to be facing loads of navies at the end of the day. Right. They're moving out. He's got 20 days left. Nicaragua has capitulated. Fair enough. Um, let's get these moving. Claims on Yugoslavia is done. Now, is that going to change them to fascist? Communist, democratic and non-aligned still exist as is. So, let's befriend Bulgaria. Or can we do Albania first? Yes. Sure they will say yes at this point. I am joking there. Oh, Free India joined the Axis, so there is a civil war going on in India. And uh, this guy is abandoning his post for some reason. They're gonna move there, so that's not a problem. Right, have they got aircraft there? Damn it, get out of my way. Yes, they have, so we need to take that. Okay, let's remove the opposition there. You went too far, he's moving in. No, he can move there. You can remove that opposition. He's going there. Nope. You move there. Surround this guy. What have we got going on over here? These guys are slowly going to take everything that we need and hopefully take all of that. If we can get more factories out of it, we will. How are we doing on that front? We're okay so far. How are we doing here? We need to improve these though. Severely so. Wow, that's going to interrupt all of our infrastructure up there. Actually, I hold off on that one because I don't know whether we'll actually get this territory. Uh, yes, so, okay. So I do want self-propelled guns. What is this? This is our lonely troop that's going to have to go there, I think. Get him against Yugoslavia. I want to see... Well, they're right, okay, why we fight. Let's have a look. So this is going to give them better national spirit, okay, and war support. I think we've lost out on a war goal against Yugoslavia. I think, I think. We are doing a lot though. But I don't want them to go and join the Axis because I want that territory. But we really need France out of the way first. So that's the idea. Uh, that's how I'm playing it. Are you guys moving forward? You are. Well done. You haven't actually got any orders down here, so I'm very impressed on that. So I'm going to give you that to do. 
They came from behind because there's only two divisions holding that whole area. So, no, go down the coast and take that. Take that port, all these guys then have a supply problem. It's usually me that does in Africa, um, so I think that's a good thing. Okay, let's activate. Let's go for a naval invasion. And there is nobody there, so let's split these troops, troops up. Not these troops, these troops. And again, we're kind of replicating what we did in our first campaign and trying not to miss the, not make the same mistakes. Uh, so it's a case of how are we doing out here? That is a serious reduction in their forces, naval wise, as is there, because they're losing ports. There is a lot of enemies, so they are there at the moment, but we are bombing them where they need to be. There's none there. Okay, that's interesting. So potentially we could actually take over Cyprus uh, at this point. And let's give these guys up here something to do. All of that, please. And get on it. Right, Blue Troop. He hasn't quite met his quota yet. Uh, Red Troop says yes. So let's push. It's probably because they're getting near Paris. Wow, that, he says yes, but then look at that. That's absolutely terrible. I think we probably needed a bit more reduction in forces there. I'm going to stop that because that's just a waste of my troops. I'm not going to do that. We will gain experience where we need it out here. And these guys are still pushing these guys back. That's good. He's Him and the other guy are doing really, really well. I'm impressed. Can we give this guy any other things? Nope, not yet. I want him to get logistics. Because we're going to need a general with logistics to take on Russia. Um, that is all good news there. Have they actually got any troops? They have. So there. Let's put some pressure on. They're still moving into these areas. Good. They've taken all that, so let's get them back. And let's do a naval invasion from there to there. And we will nick their oil if we can. It does mean that I'm going to have to put some ships out here, so... We could actually use these. They're already out here. Um, these guys here. They may be enough to secure that. So if we say there and there. Right, how are we doing on the train inside? Okay, so we've got more submarines. So if we actually put those out here and he can join that fleet because we are going to keep the ships in port until we are happy with this that's going on um, now the submarines that are being built we better make sure that they are normal ones and not mine layers because that would be confusing for my guys. Uh, okay, so let's push all the way now to the coast. And let's tell him to move like that. They're going to stop there, aren't they? Yep. Um, we may then be ready for getting these blue troops back over. Oh, hold on. Not that way. 
we can get them over no we can't because the allies have got ships everywhere again now damn it we need to blow them out of the water so what, what can we do what can we do we need to be kind of tackling them where they are I do want these kind of things as well uh, right need to add anti-tank and anti-air onto there to make it correct paratroopers we're going to need them to drop on Malta so give them plenty of organization that should help if we give them logistics and engineers we can af no we can't afford to do another one but that's not bad and I'll train six units up on an airfield that's the one that I think that we had before how are we doing with equipment we are lacking on motorized okay how did we do with that we did actually do that I'd love to be able to get some logistics out there on my other divisions, that's why I'm asking. Fall of Paris. And the Fall of France, yes. How much? Okay, that remained Free France. Are we going to keep this? Let's have a look. Death of Root of Hess. Free Francis capitulated. We got some equipment back. And I think we've kept that and that. Good. That is factories that we need. Um, tank destroyer or another tank? Um, it's 1940, so. I'm still not sure. I do need these upgrading, so. Let's concentrate on those. Right, our troops. We could actually do this now. Ten days. I think that's a good idea. So this guy, who did have a, an order there, we'll get him moving over here. Uh, do I really want it like that? No. Okay, so his order will be to do that. Could get these guys. Just a snake straight over like that as a diversionary attack. Maybe. Maybe. The Germans will definitely enjoy that because they've got troops to spare now from here. So those troops will actually come over here. I think that should be fine. The only thing that I'm worried about is my training in this area. That could all go to pot. Uh, right. Have we got anything to actually give these guys? Nope. This guy is still working out there. They're still moving. He needs 14 days anyway. That's fine. We need to improve our fuel capacity anyway. So have we got some more fuel silos going? Not yet. So let's increase those. Do you need those doing because I forgot to do those. Mm. 
Right, now justification is over. Good. Um, he says he's ready. Well, that would be a quick ready, to be honest. Okay, fair enough. Um, I, I say go. We're going to declare war. We'll call in our allies, because we can. They should then go to the allies, which they have. If they expand that way, which they're moving around, so they're going to lose their organization. They are actually moving that way, so let's force an attack. And then tell him to move that way. They will push across as they move forward. Okay. That kind of worked in the kind of, kind of, kind of way. Uh, right. We can produce these now. We should be getting some. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, it's that. That's what I want. I want loads of those. I want those. They're going to be support. Why have we still got that going on? I don't know. Uh, but we are. We're producing no naval aircraft at the moment, which is a bad sign. We must have some damage down there. That's all I can think at the moment. Uh, let's increase those as well. We're going to get factories back from this. Um, Albania occupation is coming up. Good. So that should then come back to us. If we do this and then go for the Pact of Steel, that will be our next emphasis. Albania yields. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, I haven't got no troops to actually put there, but such is life. We are pushing towards that. Okay, Giovanni Messi, which is this guy. He is suffering attrition at the moment. I don't like the fact that he's... Oh, it's because we haven't done that. Oh, we haven't got the state. We can't do it yet. Damn. Um, previous infrastructure. Yeah, that makes sense. We know about that. Ports in Constantine. I think that was an issue before, weren't it? Uh, construction. Okay. Is it that one? No, that's Tunisia. Constantine. It's got to be that one. Max that one out. So make sure that we get all the fuel that we need over there. Okay, uh, now we have got the allies over here. Annoying the hell out of my guys. So let's move them in. No, you don't need to do that. Just move in like that. Okay, that will work. He's ready to go, so let's go for another invasion. And this will be just on the cusp. Do we tell this guy to move now? Blue group, I have not met their markers, not yet. They are, they are seriously close to it. Okay, how's he doing? They are able to move, that's good. We're still hitting convoys out here, which is good. 
So I do apologise for the last episode being so long and depressingly non-eventive battle-wise, but I think this one's kind of made up for it. We are taking on as many as we can, and currently we are getting all the territory in Yugoslavia with Germany's help, because that's how it probably should have been done to start off with, but hey... Mussolini, he just asks for these things, doesn't he? Now, are we producing all of our stuff yet? Not quite, nearly. When we get some more factories that will aid our invasions, and we have actually taken that, so I just want to see from the United Kingdom's point of view what they're actually getting fuel wise. They're having to import it all now, so that is their fault. Keep one on there and then tell him to do that. Uh, could we get these to do a naval invasion from there to there? I think so. Just in case there's any fuel there. Um, okay, blue group is probably going to have to pull back or just halt now. And stop and then we tell him to move because he should have better supply and where are we we are a minute over I do apologize however we are gonna leave it as that as you can see Italy is expanding maybe a bit faster than it was in the episode other episodes I'm not sure but anyway Hope you like this episode. Hope you can join me for the next one. This is the Hydra upgrade, so it's going to be different. See you next time. See you later. Bye.